Who are we drawing today, Checkers? Ash Ketchum! All right, dude, you got your marker? Yes. We hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. You have something to draw with and some paper in front of you. Ash has been one of the most requested people that we've gotten from you, so we hope you're excited. I know we are. Yeah. You ready to start drawing? Yes. Let's do this. Yeah! <laughs> we've got our markers, but we also have some colored pencils. We have red, we have two different kinds of blues. One's really bright and one's kind of a gray blue. Then we have gray and we have a peach color for his skin and we also have a light brown. For his eyes. Yeah. All right, let's move those off to the side. First, we're gonna draw his head, and we got our paper vertical because we're gonna draw him standing up. Yeah. And we're gonna draw his head towards the top so we have room for his body. So first, we're gonna draw his cheek, and we're gonna draw a pretty, pretty long line. It's not too long. There we go. This is the side of his cheek. Then we're gonna leave a little gap over here, and we're gonna draw the other side of his head. We're gonna start at the same height and come about halfway down over here on this side. Good. Now this one, let's draw this a little higher. So let's draw about up to that point. Good. Now we're gonna draw his ear. So let's draw a little zigzag line or an M shape for his hair that's hanging over his ear. Then we're gonna draw a hook for the bottom of his ear. Good. Now the bottom of his ear should line up with this side over here. Now let's draw his chin and his jaw. So this is gonna come down to a little point right in between these two lines. Good, and then we're gonna come back up and curve into his ear. Now we got the outside of his head. Let's draw his eyes. We're gonna draw a little line over here and a little line on this side. And that's for the bottom of his eyes. Now let's draw the pupil and the iris. So a little oval that comes up from each of those lines. Now if we go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video. Now right inside that, let's put a little dot for the pupil inside of his eye. Great, now let's draw the top of his eye. It's just gonna be a little curve, upside down, rainbow line, or an upside down U, I mean, or a rainbow line. There we go, on both sides. Now let's draw his nose, and it's gonna have a little hook and then a line down. He's got a little teeny pointy nose, doesn't yes. he? <laughs> now let's draw his mouth and it's gonna be a straight line and curve on the right side. Good job. Now let's draw the lightning bolts underneath his eyes. <laughs> now he's got a little zigzag on both sides. One on this side and one on this side. Good. Now we're gonna draw his hat. So let's draw a curve right here on the top of the right side of his head. Good, and then we're gonna curve back over to the other side. Now this side is gonna go a little past his head. See how it extends over? Now we can draw a diagonal line back and let's finish his hat. Good, and then we'll curve back over and connect to the other side. And that's the brim or the bill of his hat. Now right here, if you still have a gap, you can curve that in. Let's draw the rest of his hat. So we're gonna draw a little line coming out for the side of his hat. Now we're gonna draw the top of his hat and connect this side over to the other side. Is it starting to look like him? Yeah. yeah. Good. Now let's draw the details on his hat. Draw lines. Straight across. Then we're gonna draw two half circles. So we'll draw a small one right in between his eyes. See how that lines up right above his nose? Then we're gonna draw a bigger one that goes over the top of that one. Good, now he has one more line over here on the side of his hat. Let's draw his other ear Draw a diagonal line up, and then curve down. Next, let's finish his hair. So we're gonna draw a zigzag line coming out from his hat, and then a bigger zigzag line, and then a smaller zigzag line. There's one side of his hair, you got it. Now let's draw the other side. 
We're going to draw a little spike coming out. And then a bigger one next to that one. And then this one's going to come right below his ear. And then we're going to draw another little one. And then we're going to draw a W. Like that. And connect it into his cheek. We did it. Now he has some hair coming down from his hat in between his eyes. So let's draw a small V or a check mark. Then we'll draw a bigger one right next to that one. Good. What are we missing on his face? His eyebrows. Yeah. Let's draw one eyebrow coming down from this side. And then we'll draw another eyebrow on this side. And they can be slanted down. Two looks angry. We drew his face. Good job. Give me five. Let's draw his neck and his shirt next. Okay. So right below his chin, we're going to draw a V that comes down. That's a pretty big V, but we're going to leave a gap right under his chin. Next, let's draw his neck and his shirt inside this. So let's draw one line coming down from his chin, and then we'll connect it to the inside of the V. Good. Now let's draw the bottom of his shirt, or the top of his shirt. And then let's draw the other side of his neck. So this is a small line that's going to come down. Then we're going to finish his collar. So there's a line that comes out this way, and a line out the other side. Good. Good job. Now let's draw the back of his collar. So it's a line that connects behind his neck. Now we can draw the front of his collar or the sides of his collar. So two lines down. And then connect that into the V. Oh, it's looking so cool. Now let's draw his shoulders. We're going to draw a line that comes out on this side and a line on the other side. Now let's draw his jacket. It's going to come straight down. And we're going to come, let's come down a little further. There we go. Good. And then a line on this side too. And we are going to try to simplify some of the some of the details so that it's a little Eyes easier to, to draw. Yeah, and that's okay because he could just have a little more attitude when he's standing. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I get your Pokemon. Now down here at the bottom, let's connect these two lines. Now let's add the details to his jacket. So we're going to draw a line straight down the middle, but don't go all the way to the end. Good. Now at the very bottom, let's draw an A shape. And I think the zipper at the bottom is open. So after that, we're going to connect this side to the other. So the center to the, to the side. And then we're going to connect the center to this side. Up here, We'll add a half circle or C shape and don't connect it all the way to the to the zipper. Good. Now we're gonna draw a straight line down and then angle it at the bottom. Now let's match the same thing on the other side. Half circle, straight line down, and then angle it at the bottom. At the bottom of his jacket, he has one more detail. So we'll draw a line that goes to the edge. And then we'll also draw a line that goes to the edge over here, but don't connect it all the way. Good. Now let's draw from here straight up and then angle it into the side. This is where his armpit is going to be. Now he's got one more stripe up here on his shoulder and another stripe on this side of his shoulder. Now there's one last detail on his jacket. We're going to draw a curve that comes down. And then we're going to imagine that curve continuing over to this other side. We did it. We drew his jacket. That was a lot of details. Yes. <laughs> Next, we're going to draw his sleeves and his arms. OK. You ready? Yes. OK, we're going to first start with this arm over here. We're going to draw a sleeve that comes down. Diagonal line down. Then we're going to draw another diagonal over here, a smaller one, but look how it matches. It's going the same direction. 
Good. And then we can connect with a curved line. There, now let's add the stripe at the top of his sleeve. Next, we can draw the sleeve on this side. So let's draw another diagonal line down and we want it to go down about the same length as the other side. Then we can draw a small one, just a really small one sticking out down here. And that goes the same direction as the outside one. And then we're gonna curve the other direction. See how this one's curved this way? Good, now we're gonna draw the arm coming out of his sleeve. So let's draw one line here, another line over here, and this one's gonna be longer. Good, now let's draw the back of his sleeve, so little lines that connect. Don't forget to draw the stripe on top of that sleeve. Cool, now let's draw his forearm, so one, line bending back up. This is his elbow. Good. And then we're going to draw the other side of his arm. It's going to curve up and then into his elbow. Yeah, he's got a really strong forearm. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> now let's draw his gloves. Okay. Okay, we're going to draw a curve that connects here. And then we're going to draw a longer line that comes out and we want that to go the same direction as his arm. Good. Okay, now we're gonna draw a line. This one's gonna be shorter. Now we're gonna connect this line to this line, except we're gonna do it with an upside down U. That's gonna be an easy way to draw his fingers. And then let's draw his thumb sticking out right here. He looks like he has a mitten on, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> let's fix it. So let's draw three lines, okay? One, two, three. That looks a little better. <laughs> <laughs> then he has gloves where the fingers are cut out, so let's connect each of those lines. And then the end of his glove, he has a red detail. So let's draw one more line right there. We did it! He looks awesome! Yeah. Now let's draw the arm on the other side. So let's draw a little line coming out here, and then a longer line on this side. Good, now let's draw the forearm. So this is gonna come down, and it's gonna come down. I went a little further. So you really want to end this line exactly where you ended it, right in line with his waist. Kay. Good job. Now let's draw the other side of his arm. So we're gonna bend out just a little bit and then come back in. Good. Now let's draw his glove. So we'll draw a line connecting from one side to the other. So now we're gonna draw two lines, one on this side and one here. This is gonna be for that red detail on his glove. And we'll connect them. Now let's draw his fist. So we're gonna draw one Diagonal line out, then we'll draw one line down. Then we'll draw the bottom of his fist coming across and then back up and don't connect it to that other line. Now we'll connect it on this side over here with his thumb. Good job. Now let's draw the end of his gloves so we can draw a little bumpy line at the very bottom. And if we want, we could add the little finger lines too. Now we're going kind of fast, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, you guys can pause the video if we ever go too fast and you need a little extra time. All right, you ready to keep going? Yes. Let's do it. There's one little detail, you already drew it, and it's on his thumb. Good job, now he has those gloves where the fingers are cut out. Yeah. Now let's draw his legs. We're gonna draw a line that comes down to his knees. So we're gonna come down, and we don't wanna go too far because this is where his knees are gonna be. So, and his knees are gonna be about halfway down his leg. Good, now let's do the same thing on the other side. So let's draw another curve over here. Let's finish his leg. We'll draw a little line that comes out on both sides. Good, and then a line that comes all the way down. This is gonna to be to his shoes. And we'll do the same on the other side. 
Now let's draw the inside of his legs. So right up here, we're going to draw a diagonal line right in between both of his legs. Good. Now let's draw this leg first. We're going to draw a line that comes down to where his knee would be. Then we're going to draw another little line out. And then we'll finish the leg all the way down and end at the same spot. Okay, now let's draw the other side. We're going to draw another line that comes down to his knee. A little line out. And then finish his pants. Perfect. Now let's add the details on his pants. So right here, let's draw two lines for the zipper. Good. And then he has a line halfway down or right above his knee. And we'll draw that on both sides. Then he's got these big pockets on each side. So one over here. And then on this leg, let's draw the pocket on the outside of his pants. All right, let's add little wrinkles for his knees on both sides, two little lines. And then let's add wrinkles down at the bottom. Next, let's draw his shoes. We're going to connect both sides. And we're going to draw this shoe first. So let's draw a line that comes down. And then a line that comes little diagonal. This foot is going to be aimed at us. Then we're going to connect the bottom with a curve. Good. Now let's add the details. We're going to add two lines down the middle and then connect those with a V and then put three lines like a ladder right down the middle. Good. We're going to leave out some of the details on his shoes just to make it a little easier. But right here, let's draw his sole. We're going to draw a line that goes across his toe. Good. And then we'll connect it on each side. Now let's draw one last detail. We're going to go up and then up on this side and then connect with a V. Right here at the top, let's draw a curved rainbow line. Awesome. Now let's draw his other shoe. So we're going to draw the back of a shoe or the heel, and that's going to come down about the same place where we came down on the other side. Then we're going to draw a line down. It's really short. And then we're going to come out for his toes. And that's going to curve down. Good. And then we'll connect the bottom. Awesome. Now let's add those details. We'll add the same little line right here. Matches on the outside and then we'll curve and connect to the top. Now let's draw those little ladder lines. And then we're going to draw that detail on his toe. That we, the same one we drew over here. And then we're going to connect it to the back. Now we're going to draw a funny little shape inside his shoe like that. It's almost like a square, but it just fits in there. It's kind of weird shaped. A weird shaped square. Weird, sha weird shaped square. Yes. It's kind of hard to say. Weird shaped square. <laughs> now let's draw one last detail right here. We're going to draw a line up and then we're going to connect it over to the front or the top. What are we missing? The Pokeball! Yeah, let's draw a circle above his hand so that it looks like he's throwing it. Good. <laughs> awesome. Now let's draw a smaller circle right here to the left. Then we're going to draw a line pointing to that circle. And we'll draw another one right below it. And then we're going to draw a curve that goes around that little circle and connects to the other side. Good. And then we'll do the same on the bottom. We did it, man. Good job. Give me five.
Did you have fun? Yes. Now that was awesome, but he's gonna look even cooler once we color him. All right, we got our colors all picked out and we're gonna fast forward this part, except I want to show our art friends a little secret we need to do on his face. So we got our peach color, right? Okay. And we wanna make sure that we don't color his eyes. So I'm gonna connect from the top line down to the bottom line. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna do that same thing to this eye. And we wanna make sure that we leave inside of those lines white. white. And we're gonna color on the outside. Okay. Okay, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right, right now. now. Okay, our gray isn't dark enough, so we're gonna use black and mix it with this one. Okay. So we're gonna do a, a light layer over those dark spots like his hair up here. So we do a light layer, and then we're gonna use the light gray. I'll show you. We're gonna go back over it and blend so it looks smoother. And it doesn't look pure black, and it doesn't look light gray. It looks like a dark gray. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Checkers, you did a great job on drawing Ash. You could be very proud of your drawing. It's okay that they look slightly different, right? Yes. Because the most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, to have fun. You promise you have fun? Yeah. Good. <laughs> now you guys at home can pause the video so that you can match the coloring that we did. We did the bright blue on his jacket and the gray blue on his pants and red on his hat, pokeball, and the details on his gloves and his shoes. Now you guys can also go around the outside of your ash with a slightly thicker line and that will make him stand out from the paper. Yeah! Looks like he's coming right out of it. Yeah! You promised you had fun. Yeah! Alright, we hope you guys had a lot of fun too. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye.